Hello everyone, welcome back to Lead Coding. The question which we are going to solve today is delete node in a linked list. The problem description is write a function to delete a node in a singly linked list. You will not be given access to the head of the list, instead, you will be given access to the node which is to be deleted. It is guaranteed that the node to be deleted is not the tail node in the list. So, first of all, before jumping into the solution, let us look at the structure of the node. There are two data members. The first one is, is an integer which contains the value of the node. The other one is a pointer of the type list node. It contains the address of the node which is just next to it. And then there's a constructor which is going to initialize the value with the given x and the pointer as null. This is the initialization list. So the structure of a particular node is something like this. there's an integer value and there's a pointer so this is the format in which we have our linked list this denotes a particular node in a linked list and this pointer points to the address of the node which is next to it and similarly this is going to point to another node so this is how the structure of the linked list is. Now let us denote these nodes using circles. So let us say this is our head and we are not given access to the head node. And let us say we want to delete this node from the given linked list we are given access directly to this one now okay let us say that for more clarity we have one more node over here and this is pointing to null alright so if we want to delete this node then what we can do is we can directly connect the node which is previous to this node and change the pointer of this to next of the node which you want to delete so this way the node which you want to delete gets eliminated from the linked list and we can store it inside a temporary variable and simply use the delete function to clear the memory but in this case we are not given access to the node which is previous to the node which you want to delete so this is not going to work but what instead we can do is let us say they have the value 1 2 3 4 and 5 and we are asked to delete the node which contains the value 3 now what we can do is as we have access to this particular node we can swap the value of this to the next of this as we have access to the node number 3 we will be having access to node number 4 and 5 as well and uh, whatever is previous to 3 we will not be having access to those nodes so we are on 3 and the next of 3 is 4 so we have access to 4 as well we can swap the values so 4 will come here 3 will go there and now as we have access to 4 and we want to delete 3 we can do the attachment as this and we can store this inside a temporary variable before uh, attaching 4 with 5 and we can simply clear off the memory so let us try to see the same using the code this node denotes the address of the node which we want to delete so let us first swap the values I'm using the swap function okay. 
nodes value with the value of next node and now we want to store into temp nodes next Now we can change the connections. How we are going to do this? So to do that, we just have to do nodes next is equal to nodes next next and then delete temp to clear the memory. Let us try to run this. nodes next is equal to nodes next next and the spelling is wrong it is giving us correct answer let us try to submit this and it works so in terms of space complexity as we have just used uh, uh, two variables to uh, one one in the swap function and another one the temporary variable which you want to delete so this is basically a constant space solution in terms of time we are just doing a swap which is a constant time operation and then we are just changing the connections and then delete so these are all constant time operations and the time complexity will be big of one as well so this is it for the solution if you like the video please subscribe to the channel thank you